Let's start with your third unit today. It's all about your classification and prediction. In previous sessions, we have just seen briefly what is classification and what is prediction. Now, in this unit, we are going to go in depth about your classification and prediction and what are the algorithms we are going to use in your classifications and everything we are going to see here. Now, before moving on to your classification and prediction, first I uh, I guess you all know what do you mean by supervised and unsupervised learnings. This already you have learnt in your IML. Now, what do you mean by supervised? Supervised is a labeled, yes or no, labeled data set where you use classification there. Now, See here, supervised learning, as I told you, it's a label data set and you are going to use what? Classification techniques. What do you mean by supervision? The training data that is nothing but your observations or measurements are accompanied by labels indicating the class of the observations. Next, new data is classified based on the training set. What do you mean by classification? As I have told you in the previous sessions, the pre example, I have bunch of uh, vegetables and fruits. So, how do I classify? I will classify vegetables into one sector and fruits into one sector. That is nothing but your classification. Coming to your unsupervised learning. What do you mean by unsupervised? Unsupervised learning is nothing but unlabeled here. That is about your clustering. In your clustering, what do you do? You take different uh, sectors together and make it into a small clusters like small parts. So, as the example goes like this, you have students mixed with your uh, CSC, IT, AIM and DS. Now, if I want to make a cluster, how do I do? I will take all CSC students uh, together, I will take all IT students together, all AIML and DS. So, I will separate each and every student and make it into a small clusters. Next. The class labels are training data is unknown. Here the data is known, here the data is unknown. Next, given a set of measurements, observations, etc. with the aim of establishing the existence of classes or clusters in the data. What are we doing here? Already we have existence. What existence in a group of people? We have all CSC, IT, AML and DS. Out of them only, we are making it into a cluster. This is all about your supervised and your unsupervised learning. Next, coming to your classification versus numeric prediction. As I told you, classification is what? When I have fruits and vegetables together, I will classify into two different paths. That is your classification. Now, predicts categorical class labels, that is discrete or normal. Then classifies data, that is it constructs a model based on the training set and the values, that is class labels in the classifying attributes and uses it in the classifying new data. Now, I have a training data set. Here the training data set is nothing but I have a data set called as a student. So, in the student what can I have? I can have a student ID, student name, student marks and student results. Now, if I want to classify a student, how do I classify? I will classify based on the what? Ma either marks or my result. So, if I take the result as a criteria here, I would be classified in how like whether he is a past student or his fail. So, based on that, I will classify it. Next, coming to the numeric prediction. In numeric prediction, what, what will happen? The model's continuous valued function, that is, it predicts unknown or missing values. What do you mean by unknown or missing values? Here, we talk about your data cleaning, yes or no? The pre, uh, unknown or missing or noisy data, everything comes up with what your data cleaning. So, in your numeric predictions, we predict whether the given thing is unknown or not. So, in numeric prediction, what are we doing? We predict. It is nothing but numeric is nothing but the values. We are predicting the values here. As I told you, we have already studied about your data cleaning. There in data cleaning, what did we do? In data cleaning, we spoke about your noisy data, your missing values, your errors, everything, if you all remember. So, that is what I am doing in your numeric prediction. Models continuous valued function, that is what it predicts unknowing or missing values. This is about your classification and this is about your numeric prediction. Now, what are the typical applications? Where can I use this? I can use it in credit or loan approvals, in medical diagnosis, in fraud detection, in web page categorization, in all this. These are some of the applications where I can use my classifications. Next, coming to your classification, it is it has a two-step process. Now, in two-step process, the first step is called as your model construction. The second step is called as model usage. I will explain you what do you mean by model construction and model usage simply. 
see I have a data set I have student ID I have uh, his marks and I have his results these are the three attributes I have so these are the three attributes I have now let my student ID be 1 2 3 ok so what am I doing here his marks are uh, 30 80 35 these are the marks here I will give it as fail pass pass this is my result now this I have a basic table this is my training data set now now for that this training data set what am I going to do see first I have an algorithm I will perform this algorithm on the classifier this is nothing but my classifier algorithm from the classifier algorithm here I will write the conditions if result is less than or equal to 30 then fail otherwise pass now this is the condition whatever I am talking I have an algorithm this is my training uh, data set for that data set I am classifying algorithm or I can just talk it as your classification I am doing classification here for the classification I am applying my classifier algorithm my classifier algorithm might be my decision tree nav bias my SVM whatever the regressions any of the algorithm I am going to perform here then for that I am going to check the condition if my result is less than or equal to 30 then he is fail otherwise he is pass now in this complete structure this part is called as your model construction this part is called as your model construction whereas the condition whatever the condition I am giving this conditions or the main purpose where I am using this algorithm is called as your model usage if you all can understand I have a training data set for that training data set I am applying a classification for that classification I am applying a classifier algorithm for that classifier algorithm I am performing some task that performing task is called as my model usage whatever the classification I am doing that is called as my model construction this is what I am constructing this is what I am using in simple now you all can see model construction disclaiming a set of predetermined classes each tuple or sample is assumed to belong to the predefined class as determined by the class label attribute the set of tuples used for model construction is training set this is your training set the model is represented as classification rules decision trees or your mathematical formulae that is what I am doing here in here in classifier algorithm now coming to your model usage in model usage what am I doing for classifying future or unknown objects estimate accuracy of the model the known label of test sample is compared with the classified results from the model now this test sample is comp uh, what uh, comparing with your whatever the classified result I have Accus accuracy rate is the percentage of test set samples that are correctly classified by the model now this is what is correctly classified yes or no here I have in the table I have fail pass pass here also I am giving the same pass and fail result only now test is independent of training set now this test is yes independent of training set if the accuracy is acceptable use the model to classify new data now after this what do I get I will get a new data out of it note what is the note I have written here if the test set is used to select models it is called as validation set now this test set what am I doing I am using it to select the models then this is called as what your validation set now you all can see here construction model what am I doing in the construction model this is what my training set is here I am doing classification algorithm for the classification algorithm I am doing what classifier model for the classifier model here I am writing if and then conditions based upon the training data set whatever I have this is what is my training data set for that I have written this is my construction of construction model 
next coming to the second process that is what is here construction or using the model now using the model how am i doing see i have again a training data set as the, i have a classifier for that the unseen data if it is yes it has to print if it is no it has to go to the other loop same in this way see same in this way if it is yes it has to if it is pass it has to go to the other one if it is fail it has to print this the same thing is this this is all about your classification and prediction the main important thing here is we are going to read about your model construction and your model usage thank you